Hello everyone, welcome to my class. Today I'm going to talk about how to install XRDP server on Ubuntu Linux system. What is XRDP server? XRDP server open source software of the Microsoft Remote Desktop Protocol that allow you to graphically control a remote system. That is to say, you can log in to the remote machine and create a real desktop session using XRDP. However, unfortunately, Linux servers don't have a desktop environment installed. So, you have to install X11 and a desktop environment. X11 is a windowing system for bitmap displays for the Unix-like operating systems. X11 provides the basic framework for GUI environment, drawing and moving windows on the display device and interacting with a mouse and keyboard, something like that. There are several desktop environments available in Ubuntu repositories. For example, GNOME, G-N-O-M-E, GNOME, and KDE, and XFCE, XFCE. We will choose XFCE. It is a fast, stable, and lightweight desktop environment. So, you will be installing XFCE, XFCE. Type the following command as a user with the sudo privileges to install XFCE. First, you have to write down sudo apt update in order to update your Ubuntu repositories. And then you will install uh, XFCE related utilities. Continue? Yes. Okay. Just waiting. It will take some time. X Manager. At this point, we don't have to install the X Manager, so you just click No. Okay. And then install XRDP. Continue? Yes.
OK, very good. As you can see, the installation process is complete. XLDP service will automatically start, so you can verify that XRDP is running by typing sudo system, system control status XRDP, something like that. XRDP service uh, is active, running, it's very good. Uh, and then add user XRDP into the SSL sort group, something like that. Okay, that's it. XRDP has been installed on your Ubuntu server. Now open the configuration files xrdp.ini xrdp.ini is located in the etc slash xrdp xrdp directory. Just add the following line at the end of the files. Exec start xfce4. Exec start xfce4. Okay, that's it. And then write the files and exit. Just enter. And Control X to exit. That's it. And then you have to restart the XRDP service. Typing sudo system control restart XRDP. Okay, good. Let's go Amazon AWS Management Console and click EC2 the your instance click instance uh, okay uh, the that is the learning instance and then the um, you go uh, security group menu to modify the security rules. Where is the security group menu? Uh, on the left side, right, left side, right, okay. I click the security group and then the, you can see the security group list. Click the one of them. In my case, I click uh, Hadoop security group. Okay, you can see the inbound rules, table format, type, protocol, port range, source, and so on. Okay. Okay, and then the add rules. Click type mm, RDP, RDP. Okay, RDP, click and TCP port 3389 and then the address access address 0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0.0.0.0 okay good 
and then I will add a user for um, the system developer just sysdev sysdev okay good and you enter new unix password and something like that and and we try new unix password okay updated successfully okay good and then you have to change the user information for system uh, full name In my case, I write down system developer, system developer, and room number uh, 9999. Okay, and work phone um, 010, something like that. Okay, and home phone enter enter okay information collect yes good that's it okay let's try it uh, this is a remote desktop connection on your computer system window systems I'm trying to connect to remote desktop server on Ubuntu. Okay. Click. Okay. And session XORG username sysdev password your password and okay click and then the welcome page the uh, the first start of the panel. This is the remote desktop environment. Okay. Good. And click the command line interface this is command line interface yes you can see the prompt on the command line good that's it thank you very much